to set the context, again, for why this is so important, I uh, just want to remind you that the United Ways of Connecticut have for seven years worked to make available to you reliable and realistic data on what it costs to live in Connecticut. This project is called ALICE, which stands for Asset Limited, Income Constrained, and Employed. Our most recent ALICE report on the state of Connecticut reflects that fully 38 percent of households, that's about half a million families in our state, were struggling just to make ends meet even before the COVID pandemic. It takes a household income of $90,000 just to afford basic needs for a family of four, including a toddler and an infant. Uh, so what that means is that Connecticut consistently ranks among the top five most expensive states, especially for child care, which is the single largest expense in most family budgets. It's an average of $16,990 a year for child care in Connecticut. Uh, so raising a child here is truly more expensive than just about any place else in our great country. And this economic stress does fall disproportionately on women and on families of color in Connecticut. 57% of our black households, 63% of Hispanic households, and fully 73% of female-headed households in Connecticut are all struggling on that paycheck-to-paycheck -paycheck, uh, budget. So with all that in mind, obviously this child tax rebate is an incredibly important high-impact step to help these families. Uh, so we're grateful again for the leadership uh, and just want to underscore, you know, for a family uh, with two young children, $500 is half a month of groceries. And for a single mom with a child in school, $250 can cover a month's worth of after school programs or child care for that working parent. So that's, that's really important, and that's an important benefit for these struggling families in our state. But since there are 350,000 eligible families, we want to reach out to all of them, and we need to do it quickly. Really grateful to the commissioner and the partnership of DRS. Uh, but together with state government, uh, we're glad to be working with a coalition of more than a dozen nonprofits so that we can get the word out and help support people in applying for this important benefit. Um, really, really pleased that the community foundations of Greater New Haven, Hartfield, Fairfield County, Eastern Connecticut, and the Connecticut Community Foundation have provided some funding for our nonprofit outreach campaign on the child tax rebate. Our materials are all bilingual in English and Spanish and include social media, recorded messages, videos, uh, and billboards that will go up soon. Uh, so what we'd like to ask is that nonprofits, <laughs> town social service agencies, faith communities uh, join us in this effort to reach every eligible family and we invite them to go to our website ctunitedway.org and share these printable and shareable materials to get out the word and help the eligible families in Connecticut know about the rebate and apply successfully for it. So thank you very much again to our great leaders in public policy for this important effort and we're glad to be working with them.